Amen. The house has already been addressed to my pastor, to my first lady. Amen. I thank you for this opportunity. Amen. I thank God for being here. I thank God for he is the head of my life. He is my source, my strength. Amen. He is my everything. Amen. To my mom, I thank you for training me. Amen. For raising me up the right way. Amen. 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 I'm not going to be before you long. Amen. My theme, I, I battle with this throughout the week. But God gave me something, and I'm going to give you what God gave me. Amen. So I ask that you keep me in your prayers. Amen. 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 What God gave me is, I've got a reason. So I'll be coming to you from Psalms 34, verse 1 through 6. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked up to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his fears. And the Lord had a blessing to the readers and the doers of his word. Now, when I was told I was being speaking, I chose this passage because it's one of the favors that apply to my life. And I kept praying and asking God, what should my theme be? And it seemed like I wasn't getting anything for a while. And so one, day, one morning while I was driving at work, and I, I, was, I always pray when I drive. And so while I was driving and praying, I began to reflect back over my life and all the things that I've been through. And all of a sudden, God put in my spirit, I've got a reason. Hey, right. So when I looked up the word bless, it states to consecrate or render holy. All right. Beneficial or prosperous by means of a religious right. Uh-huh. To give honor or glory to a person or thing as divine or holy. Uh-huh. Now, growing up in church, I watched my elders and I quickly caught on, like most kids do, how to clap my hands and win. Oh. Yes, he did. How to wave my hands from side to side. Yeah. How to rock. Yeah. Yes, he did. And of course, like most yes, kids, how to mock and people shout. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. you don't do that now. I gave my life to Christ as a teenager. And as I got older, I began to experience life's, the ins and outs and the trials and tribulations. And I realized that I needed God just as much as I needed the air to breathe. Yes. And all the things that I learned growing up just wasn't working for me anymore. Yeah. I needed a personal relationship with God. Yes. And I, so that way I could grow and mature and allow my praise and worship to him to be sincere. Yeah. All right, come on. As my relationship with God matured, I was then able to get to a point to where I was not ashamed to lift my hands in church. I was not ashamed to tell God, thank you or hallelujah. All right. Thank you. All right. And most of all, I was no longer ashamed to give God praise. Yeah. Yes, I went through some trying times along the way, but I kept praising God in spite of my trying times. Right. Psalms 30 says, mm -hmm. Psalms 30, 1 and 2 says, To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will, thank, I will give thanks to thee forever. There is nobody like God. Nobody deserves the glory like he does. Yes. Yeah. I have endured many, many things. But over the past few months, my life changed in a way that I never expected. It was something that I had never dealt with before. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know who to talk to. Sometimes I would cry myself to sleep at night. I would wake up the next morning hoping it was just a dream, but it wasn't. All right. It was affecting my life in such a way that people would ask me, Brother Tim, are you okay? Yeah. You don't look like your normal self. And I would just respond, I'm fine with a, a uh -huh. smile on my face. Uh -huh. But really deep down inside, I was hurting and distraught. Yeah. I had no one to turn to. Felt like I had no one to talk to. How many of you know that how many of you know what it's like to face a situation and you don't know what the outcome is going to be or you don't know how, if you're even yeah. going to make it through the situation? Yeah. My God. Right. So recently, one day while I was praying, I asked God, why me? Why is this situation affecting me like this? And how can I get past this and grow from it? Because there has to be some type of lesson for me to learn from this. Right then and there, God spoke to me and he reminded me that I will never leave you, nor will I never forsake you. And I find it so fitting that pastor keeps reminding us that 
2014 is the year of redemption and deliverance. Yeah. Because I know that my redemption is on the way. Yeah. And I know that my deliverance is just around the corner. Come on. Yeah. Come on. There is nothing too hard that my God can't solve. Yeah. There is no situation that he can't fix. Yeah. Is there anybody here that knows that this is your year of redemption and deliverance? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when reading Psalms 34, I came across verse 6. And it said, this poor man cried. This poor man. And the Lord heard him and deli yeah. delivered him from all his troubles. Oh, yes. I begin to think of myself as that poor man. I begin to... I begin to think of myself as that poor man right then and there. Yes, I may have been going through some hard times. Yes, there may be some days that are better than the others. And yes, my back may be against the wall right now. Yes, I may want to throw in the towel and sometimes call it quits. But as long as God is on my side, leading and guiding me along the way, something inside of me won't let me quit. Something inside of me won't let me give up. So... That's why I chose the passage that I did. Because when I look back over my life and I think about everything that God has done for me, everything that he's brought me through, I have no doubt in my mind that I've got a reason to praise the Lord. I know that when I look, when I think back over my life and I realize that I should have been dead and gone, I have a reason to lift my hands and tell him thank you. When I think about all, all the things that God has done for me, how he's healed my body, I've got a reason to exalt him. shout around like a crazy person that I know I should be. I've gotten to the point in my life where I don't care what others think about my praise. I don't care what they say. Because no one knows like I know all the things that God has brought me through. Psalms 150 says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. And then when you jump down to verse 6, it says, Let everything that has praise. Praise ye the Lord. you're going through in your life. No matter what you're going through, keep praising the Lord. No matter how hard the test may be, keep praising the Lord. Even when you don't feel like praising God, keep blessing His name. Even when you don't feel like it, keep blessing His name. Because when praises go up, blessings come down. If you're anything like myself and realize that you've got a reason to praise the Lord, then all you have to do is just lift your hands and say, God, I bless you. God, I magnify your name. Because you're worthy, Lord, you didn't have to do you may be going through some hard times. Yes, you may be going through. Yes, your back may be up against the wall. Yes, you may feel like you have no one to turn to. Come on, man. Every day won't be sunny. And yes, you will still face some trials along the way. But keep your head up. Don't be afraid. Don't walk in fear. Don't walk in defeat. Hallelujah. Because this is your year of redemption. And if you're still going through, 